Primary Care Clinics in Johannesburg Metro provides care and medication to chronically ill patients, many who cannot work. However, because medications must be taken with food, a problem was discovered. Sivatle Community Project is a project that was born out of the need to enable chronically ill patients to take their medicines on a full stomach and I was doing my community service at Clady Clinic. Compliance was a huge problem amongst patients because of their inability to take their medicines with food. So we created a vegetable garden that fed into a kitchen in the hope that we could create a self-sustaining cycle of food and nourishment for these patients. And it's grown slowly but surely, as has our garden. We feed about 60 people a day, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And our goal next year is to feed more people every day because there are about 400 people coming in and out of the clinic and we'd like to expand beyond just chronically ill patients. The garden is cared for and grown by members of the community and all the meals are also prepared by volunteer cooks like Linda Mklapo. My role here is for cooking for the patients, giving them food because some of them, they cannot afford to, to buy food for themselves and they, they should drink their tablets. They cannot take medication without eating. We get our veggies from our own gardening where we plant our veggies. We cook cabbage, spinach, meaning we mix vegetables. They taste so delicious. We mix them. They get all the nutrition in one pot. What motivated me is Mr. Mandela when he said people must learn to volunteer. It doesn't mean that you've got to work and, and earn. You can do something for people. You can do anything without getting paid, but people will appreciate that. Sibashle is striving to create an entirely community-driven garden to supply produce to the kitchen and thus both feed hungry patients and give them a sustaining project of which they can have ownership. I was a facilitator in the support group, so we decided to, me and Dr. Sky, sit down and came up with this idea of Sibashle. That's when we decided to grow these things and put in the kitchen so that the people, the patients who are taking ARVs, can eat and go home healthy with a full stomach. Growing uh, tomato, cabbage, parsley, and morojo, butternut, and all those sweet corns and the chilies. The contribution of the volunteers sustains the project in that the kitchen is completely run and supervised by our queen chef, Linda who makes sure that fresh produce is brought every Monday and um, prepared freshly every day to be served. We welcome any skills in terms of gardening and in enabling the garden to produce more and to produce better. If you'd like to visit the first Sibatli Garden and Kitchen Project, it's located at the Clyde Clinic in Soweto and they welcome any support. To make a donation or learn more about the Sibatli Community Project, visit sibatlicommunity.co.za.